Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking news in the coffee industry, and trust me, you don't wanna miss this. We will explore a move by private equity giant, General Atlantic, that has shaken up the entire industry. But before we get into the juicy details, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for all the latest updates. Let's get started. General Atlantic announced a bold move to acquire a majority interest in Joe and the Juice. For those unfamiliar with Joe and the Juice, rapidly expanding beverage chain that's been taking the world by storm with its unique blend of fresh juices, coffee, and modern urban vibe. I've been to numerous locations here in Miami Beach as well as in New York City, and it's a quite cool place to, to check out with, with good food as well as coffee and, and juices that I can attest to. So definitely check out a Joe and the Juice if you ever have a chance. Now, this isn't the first time that General Atlantic has shown an interest in Joe and the Juice. Back in 2016, they made a minority investment, but their latest move is significant escalation. They're buying out Vallejo Partners, marking a new era for the popular chain. So what does this mean for Joe and the Juice and why should we as consumers and potentially investors be excited about it? General Atlantic is helping Joe and the Juice grow in two big ways. First, they're opening more stores in different countries. So you'll probably see more Joe and the Juice shops in, in cool places. Second, they're making the brand bigger online. In today's world, being online is super important and this could change how people connect to the Joe and the Juice brand. There's a third item that's most important and relevant for audience is they're gonna start franchising. So the official detail Details have not been launched, but Joe and the Juice does have plans to franchise. So you can get on the action and open your own Joe and the Juice in 2024 or, or 2025. In this deal, General Atlantic and Joe and the Juice are all about giving customers what they want. Now let's talk about the financial side of things. This investment is also meant to improve Joe and the Juice's financing strategy by reducing their debt. A solid financial base is crucial for expanding companies. And this indicates a strategic approach to growth and and stability. Joe and the Juice's CEO, Thomas Narox, has expressed immense enthusiasm about this partnership in his statement. He highlighted the collaborative journey with General Atlantic over the past seven years and shared the vision for the future. So what does this mean for you? If you're a fan of Joe and the Juice, expect to see more of their stores and an enhanced digital experience. If you're an investor or someone interested in the beverage industry, this move signals a significant opportunity in a brand that's rapidly growing and evolving. So stay tuned as they open up to franchise applications in the coming months. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this major acquisition. Do you think it will change the game for Joe and the Juice? They'll lose a little bit of their edgy vibe. Are there any particular changes or innovations you're hoping to see? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for today. If you found this insightful, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.